Okay, so we've got this thing, 3x plus 2 minus 3x, x minus 5. So what we do is we put that in case, and we've got to put our multiplication in. So in case, we'll say we've got 3 times x plus 2, and then we'll say minus 3 times x times open bracket x minus 5. Okay, you've got to make sure that you're putting in your times between them, otherwise it won't work. So once you've got that, you press enter and it just expands it for you. It expands it and it simplifies it. you just got to type it in. But like I said, you've got to make sure you're putting in your times where the multiplication is happening in your equation or in your expression. Are there any questions about that? Okay. For the fractions, so we're going to have a look at this. We're going to simplify any of these. It doesn't matter which ones, but all we do is once again, we just type that into CAS and CAS will do everything for us. Doesn't matter if we're adding, subtracting, multiplying, or dividing. Doesn't matter what the powers are. We just follow these same steps. So we're going to do A, and then we're going to do... So we've got two fractions there. So my advice with that is to set up and we're, we're adding the two fractions. So my advice is to set up a pair of brackets, put a plus, and set up another pair of brackets. That's what we're doing. And then the first fraction, we've got 5... And then we've got a minus 1. So I'm going to say 5 divided by, and I'm going to do a bracket, and I'm going to say a minus 1. We can use whatever letters we want. It doesn't have to be x when we're doing this. It has to be x when we're graphing, but if we're not, uh, if, we're, if we're just doing algebra, it can be whatever letters we want. And then the next one we'd put in, we'd have um, a plus 4. So because we've got an expression here, an expression here, we're going to need more brackets. So we're going to put this a plus 4 in a set of brackets. a plus 4. And we are dividing that by... We're dividing that by 2a plus 1. So I'm going to open another set of brackets. And we're going to say 2 times a plus 1. And I'll press enter and it simplifies it. Um, it may give you this error here because uh, because we're dealing with algebra. A may be a, a, we may end up with um, a divide by zero, but that's what that, that's one thing that we can do there. Are there any questions about that at all? Yep, it changes it. That may help you with some of the things you'll be up against just by typing it in. We can also put in expand, and then if we go, to, if I type in expand, and I, that's, does anyone know where that is in the menu? What's that? Expand in the menu. Algebra. Okay, so menu three three to expand, and I'm just going to press the up key twice. And then I'm going to close it. And once again, it may do something like that. Um, if it doesn't work, there are a couple of things you can try. But the idea is that hopefully it'll 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 simplify that. Um, I will make some videos of these as well, and I'll put it up online to make it easier for you. Or so we so that if you don't have your CAS here, you've got access to it, uh, and you got access to it later on. Something may be able to be worked out. So now, so that's that one. Um, We'll have a look at how to solve simultaneous equations as well. So doing it by hand is great. Doing it by CAS is a lot quicker. So we'll look at this thing. We've got 3x plus 2y equals 5. 2x minus 6y equals negative 12. We're going to solve that simultaneously using CAS. So for that one, we go to menu, algebra, and solve. I'll choose a different one because this has a six and I can't type in sixes. I'll do this one here. <laughs> so we're going to solve two eight. What's that? Oh, I can press the six. Oh, does it? Yeah. Lucky I teach IT as well. Okay. So 
We're going to solve this thing here. So what we do with that one, we've got, we've, we've put in um, solve. Then I'm going to click this thing here next to the book, above times next to the book. It's this button here. And I'm going to click that and I'm going to choose this thing here with two because we're dealing with two equations. So this is what we've got. I'm going to click on that and this is what it looks like. So from there, I then type in both equations. So I'm going to type in 3x plus 2y equals 5. 3x plus 2y equals 5. And then I'm going to press the down button. And I'm going to type in the second equation here. I'm going to put in negative 2x minus 6y. Negative 2x minus, I'm going to press 6 on the keyboard, y. And I'm going to say that equals negative 12. And then once I've done that, I'm going to go to the right. So I'm going to press the right arrow button and I'm going to say comma x comma y. So that's what I'm solving for. I'm solving for those ones. And then I'll close off the brackets and I'll press enter and it'll tell me what x and what y are. Are there any questions about that? I will put videos up that up. I'll come. Yep. Yeah. You are welcome to use case. I'm okay with that. Okay. Right now, we don't have the time to learn how to do all of that. That we may have to. You'll have time for that next year. Are there any other questions? And the really handy thing about this is, if you save your file, so if you go to uh, Control S to save, you can save this and you can and you can use it at another time. Say, I don't know, during an exam. Um, and then what you can do is it's really handy because if you want to solve equations again, you can press the up arrow key, you press enter, and then you can just type in the different things. So I can now change this to 2a. I can leave this as, I can change it to 2a. It is minus 7c, minus 7c, and that equals 3. And then the bottom one says 7a plus 4c. 7a. I'll, I'll show that again. Plus 4c and that equals negative 7. We are solving for A and C. We press enter and it does it for us. <coughs> so that saves us having to do it all again. Did, did, did someone show you how to do it? Cool. Okay, so that's where we solve simultaneous equations on CAS. Um, if we're... Oh, the next thing, we're solving um, exponential equations. So that we just use solve. So we'll just use menu, algebra, and solve. And we'll just type 3 times 5 to the power of x. And that is equal to 8, comma x. Close the brackets and we press enter. It tells us what it is. If we get something weird... That's okay. And by weird, I mean something like this. That's okay. If we want to change it, we put a decimal in. Because if we put a decimal in, we get a decimal out. <coughs> Which one? I put a decimal in. So I had this. That's what I, that's what I entered. And I just made that 8.0. This, um, you can press Control Enter, but that doesn't always work. I've, I've, I've found there's sometimes problems with that. Um, are there any other questions? Okay. To sketch linear graphs, what we do is we will type in. Um, so we go to a graph page. So we press the Home button, 
we go to graphs and we just type it in here. So this first one is 3x plus 5. 3x plus 5. I press enter and it draws the graph. To find intercepts, I'll say menu, analyze graph 0 for an x-intercept. And it tells me where it happens. So that again. I press tab to open this line. I type in my equation. 3x plus 5. And I press enter. It draws the graph for me. And then I go menu, analyze, 0 to find the x-intercept. And we have that. How do I find the y-intercept? What do I do? Yeah, we let x equal 0. So if we let x equal 0, what's our y-intercept going to be? 5. So that's what it is there. We have it there at 5. Um, if you're given something like this, where we've got 2x plus 5y equals 8, we can rearrange that so it's in the form of y equals. We can also, if we press menu, graph entry edit, and we click on relation, we can just type it in as it is. So we can say 2x plus 5y equals 8, and it'll draw that for us. So that one again is tab. Tab to open this thing, menu, graph entry edit, it's set to function by default, but you go menu, graph entry edit, and we can set it to relation, and then you can just type in the thing as it is. 2x, so we can try this one now as well, 2x equals 8y minus 1, 8y minus 1, and it draws that one as well. And then once again, to find any x-intercepts, we just say window, sorry, menu, analyze graph, zero. It'll ask us which graph because we've got a few there. I'll choose that one, set my boundary, and it tells me where the x-intercept is. Are there any questions about any of that at all? Okay, so like I said, um, I'll put up videos to support you guys in, in, in that, what I've just done there, and then anything else that may come up with Kaz, um, and I'll give you solutions to those questions, to the um, exam questions that I suggested you do as well, as well as those ones that I've put up. When is your exam? Thursday. Thursday. We've got lots of time. We've got a week. Um, I, do, I am aware you do have other ones. Um, so what I'll do in the meantime is I'll make sure there's plenty of things up there on Compass for you guys to do. I'll make sure that there's revision, uh, solutions to revision and anything else that may come up. I'll put that up as well. Are there any questions? Okay. Yes.